Hi, my name is Jeff, and I'll be graduating this week with a PhD in computing science. Hi, my name is James Liu, and I'm graduating this week with a Bachelor of Applied Science degree from Mechatronic Systems Engineering. Hi, I'm Lizette, and I'm graduating this week with a Master of Applied Science degree from Engineering Science. Hi, my name is Alvin David, and I am graduating with a Bachelor of Applied Sciences degree from the School of Engineering Science. Hi, my name is Mi Zhong, and I'm graduating this week with a Master of Applied Science degree from Mechatronic Systems Engineering. Hi, my name is Hossein Sharifi Ogabi. This week, I'm graduating with a PhD degree in Computing Science. Yeah, let's go. Yes. Absolutely. A memorable project that I had was with my capstone group, where we created a artificial intelligent baby crib to ensure babies are safe while sleeping. My drones. I built a whole fleet of them and I got them to fly together using biologically inspired behaviors. The main part of my graduate study was a joint clinical study between SFU and BC Cancer to monitor chemotherapy effects on breast cancer patients using an optical probe. All my research projects on artificial intelligence and pharmacogenomics were memorable and interesting in their own ways. It's very hard for me to pick one. I like all of them. My research topic was automating embryo image quality assessment for in vitro fertilization treatment. One of my favorite projects was my capstone. Our team built an autonomous mobile robot to complete warehouse logistic tasks. Friendly, fun, and engaging. Fun, sometimes hard, life-changing. Explorative, formative, and fulfilling. Roller coaster, transformative, uncertain. I competed in three-minute thesis. It was a fun challenge to think about the bigger picture of my research and also target my work to different audiences. My favorite competition experience was the SFU Engineering Competition. The FAST competition in 2019, we were tasked with building autonomous mobile robots that could pick up organic and non-organic objects, and I thought that was pretty cool. Thai Express. Veggie Lunch SFU. GSS Lunch. Renaissance Coffee. Probably Starbucks. My friend and I spent a lot of time in the donor place near Cornerstone. Mac OS? It has to be Mac OS. I use Windows, Linux, and Mac OS during my PhD for different projects, and like all of them. I'm so used to using Linux for neural network training and Windows for pretty much everything else. I actually don't have a preferred operating system, though I do most of my work in Windows and Linux. Has to be Windows. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Throughout my time at SFU, I was part of the SFU Engineering Science Student Society. I was the chair of the IEEE Robotics and Automation Society Student Activities Committee. I had a lot of fun working with my team members and we got to organize a lot of fun student events for several robotics conferences. I was a computer vision project mentor for the Invent the Future program. It was so rewarding to help introduce high school girls to machine learning and computer vision and then encourage them to pursue an education in computer science or STEM. My most memorable extracurricular activity was joining the Mechatronic Systems Engineering Student Society. I'm most proud of becoming the president of that student society. It was a, it was a pleasure and honor to hold that role and I hope to see the society continue to grow. VHDL. Python. Python is such a good programming language for those like me who are newer programmers. I learned how to implement codes in Python and use it for all my research projects at SFU. Probably C or C++. I like to work at that lower level. Princess Margaret Cancer Center in Ontario. Human Emotion Robotics. BC Cancer Abbotsford. Verathon Medical Canada. Circle Cardiovascular Imaging in Calgary, Alberta. Genesis Robotics. Intel Corporation. I couldn't survive without my travel mugs because they keep my coffee hot throughout the day. 
Probably the 3D printer. I used it to build a lot of different things, including the drones that I used for my research. I think this one has to go to MATLAB. MATLAB. GitHub for code versioning and working on mul multiple computers was a lifesaver. I would tell my first year self to try everything. Engage with everybody you meet. Attend all the events you can and create meaningful connections. Experiment. I'm, I know that's kind of obvious and I don't mean run thesis experiments. I mean that too. But what I mean is try new things. If you get an idea, test it out in simulation. Be curious and ask questions. You will be surprised how much they would impact your life in the future. And learn as much as you can because every path these down to a different road and don't limit yourself to just one. Don't be discouraged by failures, but consider them stepping stones. Be patient. It's a long process. They will help you grow into a better person if you are willing to devote time and effort. I got so caught up in thinking that every test and application was so important. Looking back, even though I had so many failures and rejections, I still somehow managed to get a job that I love doing. I would like to thank my PhD advisor, Dr. Richard Vaughn, for always giving me fantastic guidance, uh, giving me the freedom to work on some very interesting projects, and for having uh, faith in my abilities to see those projects through. I would say all of our professors were great, but a couple of shout outs have to go to Dr. Rad. Dr. Jason and Gary Wang, Dr. Marzouk, Dr. Narmani, and of course, Dr. Konaragi. I'd first like to thank my supervisor, Parvane, for giving me the opportunity to work on such an incredible research project. Second, Faisal, for always showing so much optimism in his teaching. And lastly, Angelica and Bulduz for organizing the Invent the Future program. I would like to honor the memory of Professor Steve Whitmore because from the start of every engineering student's academic career, he showcased his passion and excitement for all aspects of engineering. I want to thank my supervisors, Professor in Mechatronics, Dr. Fari Gonaragi, and adjunct faculty member, Dr. Ramani Ramasishan, for all their support and guidance. Graduates in programs of the Faculty of Applied Sciences, congratulations, you've made it. Not only have you had to make it through a very difficult program of study, you've had to endure 18 months or more of COVID lockdown in which you've had very little access to face-to-face -to -face contact with your schoolmates and TAs and your instructors, but you've made it. And I congratulate you on your perseverance. The studies that you do in the Faculty of Applied Sciences prepare you for problem solving in the real world. You take science and you convert it into something actionable. And in a lot of ways, what you've been through is one example of what you will be facing in the future. But you are equipped to be problem solvers. And wherever you end up, however you get there, you will find that the studies that you have have prepared you intellectually and emotionally for problem solving and collaborating and working with people to benefit society. So for that, you are prepared. I congratulate you. I also congratulate you and wish your family well who have supported you through your programs of study. Congratulations once again. I will now be handing this off to other people who have lots more interesting things to say. Hello, fellow graduates in the Faculty of Applied Science and Mechatronics. Congratulations, you made it. I'm very proud of you and I wish, I wish you all the best. I 3D printed this statue for you. It's a joke. So SFU will be always here for you. Let's keep in touch. Stay cool and safe. Greetings, fellow engineers. With this convocation, and on behalf of the School of Engineering Science, I welcome you to the profession of engineering. Engineering is one of the toughest training programs here at SFU. It is a tribute to your hard work and the skills that you have learned that you've reached this stage. Now you get to celebrate this with all the guests gathered here for the convocation of fall 2021. 
Go forth in this post-COVID time and change the world. Congratulations to all of our amazing graduates from the Faculty of Applied Sciences on the completion of your undergraduate and graduate degrees. Uh, what you've done would have uh, been an amazing accomplishment under the best of circumstances, but you've done so under what has been an extraordinarily challenging time. So congratulations on your tenacity, your perseverance, and the talent that it's taken to see you through. Uh, I hope you have the opportunity to embrace and enjoy the moment, to celebrate with the people that you love and that have supported you and to reflect on the time and, and the experiences that you've had. Uh, I'd also like to acknowledge a, a great uh, milestone for the School of Sustainable Energy Engineering as we see our second graduate from our master's program in Maha Shahade. Uh, congratulations Maha and, and well done. So enjoy the day, enjoy the time and uh, congratulations once more uh, and uh, best wishes as you begin the next step in your journeys. Greetings to all computer science graduates. Congratulations, uh, you have made it. Your hard work uh, for hours and days and years has paid off. You have made it, you have earned your degree. Congratulations again. Good luck on your career and stay connected with us if you. To family members and friends of graduates, thank you. Thank you very much for your support throughout the years. Uh, best wishes to all of you. Congratulations, Applied Science Co-op. You have done an amazing job pulling through and graduating right in the middle of a pandemic. We are so very proud of your resilience. Now go out, the world is waiting for you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yay. Congratulations, everyone. Have yes. a great day. On behalf of Computing Science Technical Support, congratulations. 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 Congratulations, everyone.